Well, happy Tuesday from We Up Sheep Creek Farm. I wanted to tell y'all the true story about Fat Butt Frank and how he became the head of security here at We Up Sheep Creek Farm. Even in the country, we can get trespassers. Now, most of the time, they show up at your front gate. Sometimes they pop up out of nowhere. They're pitching in too. That's Mary Jane and Bobby Sue. Um, but this is the story about Fat Butt Frank, who, as you can tell, does love his mama V. So I was in the back working on things one day. This is before we got the two big dogs. We just had the little ones. Speaking of the devil, there's Harry Butters right there. The other one's Pete. He's the Dobby looking up somewhere. Anyway, they took off like a shot barking and making a bunch of ruckus like somebody had come up onto the property. So I went out into the front and sure enough, this car pulled out and this this guy got out. Smallish man, but had just kind of a creepy vibe. Well, the two dogs are trained to, to not go past a, thank you baby to not go past spa treatments today at your local cat house. Um, they're trained not to go past a certain part in the driveway. And this guy gets out of his car, and it's posted all over my front gate, don't come in here, you know, no, not a turnaround, no trespassing. Think twice, we won't, with a nice little bullseye, because I'm an artist. Um, yes. And... I'm like, can I help you? And he says, well, I'm, I'm, I'm here to do the census and da 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 da. And I'm like, mm, no, you're not. And my dogs totally disobey and go past where they're supposed to be. And they are just all sorts of freaking upset. And, you know, I mean, trust your animals. They know, they know that which you do not. And I'm like, no, they, they did a census, you know, and if the city needs it, then they can get it from the federal census. We got no letter. We got no notification that anybody's coming to the door. Nothing. There was nothing on the, on the Facebook page for the town. There was, there was no nothing posted nowhere. There was nothing. And one of my neighbors is on the city council, and you would have thought that he would have told me, because he knows how I am about people coming up on the property unannounced, as it were. And I'm like, no, no. He's like, well, yeah, yeah, I need to come on in and talk to you. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no. And the dogs are like, like I said, they're just barking up a storm and hairs risen up and everything. And I'm like, no, no, I know one of the council, one of the council members and you know, if the, if you know what you're saying is is true and all well, then he can get a hold of me, or the city can give me a letter, or whatever. I don't know you. You ain't coming on the property. You ain't coming in. And uh, creepiness, just just pure creepiness. Well, about that time, out of nowhere, here comes a big old gray fluff ball. That but Frank. Now, Fat Butt Frank is the son of Nero. We lost uh, last year. He got into a fight with something with four wheels on the road and lost. Um, and uh, Nero was was probably about half Norwegian for his cat. Uh, and, and so he was huge. And so is Fat Butt Frank, because I'm telling you, my arm's going a little numb with him sitting here on my shoulder. Huh. Get that spot right there. I think this spot what, right there is dirty. And fat butt Frank. I mean, if you've... Uh, he come up and stood sideways and just kind of looked this guy up and down and then, and then he flexed. He flexed. I mean, like, he's like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of cats. He just was sideways and he just flexed. And then his tail stood up. And then he went poof. And just like fluffed up two, three times his size. Hissing and 
And I am telling this gentleman now, my tone has definitely changed to one of great concern and worry because I'm pretty sure that somewhere along the lines, involuntary manslaughter by feline was going to be coming my way. And I'm not sure if that's a felony or not, but I wasn't risking it. And I was telling this gentleman, sir, you need to leave. You need to leave now. Your life is now in danger. So that is the true story of how Fat Butt Frank became head of security here at We Up Sheep Creek Farm. Little shout out to Miss Paula from over on Facebook. Y'all have a good day. Blessings. Remember, somebody loves you. I love you. You're doing a great job. You're here, aren't you? You made it all the way to today to this minute. Good job.